Unit Seven, Three, Social Beings. Read, B. Friend Probs Blog, Susie, Surprise Party Blunder, May Twenty Third. I need help. I arranged a surprise party for my BFF Karen last night, and it went totally wrong. Everything was ready. Some of her friends from her old school were there. Everyone was there on time. The cake was lovely. It was perfect. I opened the door. She walked into my living room, and surprise! Two seconds later, she was out the door, and she hasn't spoken to me since. Anyway, everyone went home. I put the cake in the refrigerator, and the evening that was supposed to go so well was a disaster. I try to call my BFF, but there's no answer. I can't even apologize to her. I know she's shy, and she mentioned to me once that she'd rather not have a surprise party. But I thought everyone likes them, really. Apparently not. It never crossed my mind that she would react the way she did. What should I do to sort things out? How can I help her get over it? I don't have a clue. Is our friendship over? D. Lisa. Hi, Susie. It's Lisa. I just got home. What a nightmare! I don't really like the idea of surprise parties either, but I don't think I would leave. I mean, you made such an effort to organize it. Anyway, she probably just needs some time to calm down a bit. I'm sure she'll give you a call soon. Just give her time. She'll realize she was being silly. I have to go now. Talk to you later. Arnold. Hello, Susie. Are you there? I wanted to talk to you before I left, but you looked pretty upset. Listen, I know just how Karen feels. I ran out on a surprise party too a couple of years back. It was the shock, I think. Plus, there were lots of people I didn't like there. Maybe inviting old friends was a bad idea. But don't worry. If she's a real friend, you'll talk things over and everything will be back to normal. Okay. Louise. Susie, it's me, Louise. I just got off the phone with Karen. I told her she was acting silly, and she got pretty angry. She's really upset with you. I tried to explain that you just wanted to do something nice, and she calmed down a bit. If I were you, I'd get that cake out of the refrigerator and go over to her house. You'll have a long talk and sort things out, I'm sure.